Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to build a simple scissors in plasticity. So the ones being shown right now on the screen. Uh, we're going to use the most common tools like the line tool and the spline curve tool the majority of the time. So to begin with, let's go to the back view and here I got a reference image. Simply click and drag and drop it in the scene. Now hit M key to access the properties and tick opacity. Now you'll be able to lower down the reference opacity. Just so you can see through it. So to open the panels on both sides, you can hit Ctrl B and click on the lock right here. Now it's no longer selectable. Let's start working on the handle. I'm going to click on the line tool if I intend to create straight lines like this. Now I want to stop the line right here, right click to commit and click on spline curve tool that allows me to create very smooth curves. Let's click now on the last point and right click to commit. So what I want to do now, I'm going to hit Ctrl B on the keyboard. Uh, to access the menu and hold down shift and left mouse click to select both curves because I want to join them go down to the toolbar here and hit join curves I recommend you taking a look at the plasticity shortcuts uh, I changed mine so they may differ from yours all right, so we joined both curves. Now hit one to go to vertex mode and click and drag and select those points. Go down to the toolbar and click on fill it. Just a few millimeters will be fine. And just do the same with this point and those two points. Perfect. So let's now click on the spline curve tool because I want to kind of subtract the inner part of the handle here so I'm gonna draw that shape I'm gonna stop the line right here right click to commit and click on the line tool and close the curve then hold down shift and select both curves to join them now hit one on the keyboard to enter vertex mode and just left the mouse click and drag on the points and adjust them to your liking. So now I'm gonna draw the other one exactly the same way so I'm gonna speed up the video just a little bit. Let's now select both shapes by holding down shift key and left mouse click. You'll see this little yellow handle and just click and drag to give it a little bit of thickness. No worries if it is not at the center, we're going to mirror this. So let's now switch to the right view and I'm going to roughly put it at the center. Now, what I want to do, I want to mirror the handle across the green axis, the Y axis. So to do that, I'm going to hit Alt X on the keyboard. And as you can see, we have a little green handle and you need to click on the on the side you want to mirror just like that. And then hit Q to merge both shapes. So let's hold down Alt and left mouse click to select the entire loops in one go and make sure the snap on the grid is off and just grab the handle just a little bit and let's do the same work outside just like that maybe it should be it needs to be a little bit thinner than it is so I'm going to select the face and grab the handle just like that and now I'm going to mirror it again I'm going to select both shapes and hit alt x and then hit 
Q to merge both. There we go. So we can now start to tackle some of the details on the handle. So first of all, make sure the snap on the face is active, as you can see here, and then choose the spirit tool and just click and drag. Now hit B to create a new mesh, a separated mesh, and then shift D to duplicate it as many times as you need. Just like that. Then select them and duplicate again, duplicate again, again and again, and there we go. So now we need to subtract the spheres from the handle. And to do that, select the handle and hit Q on the keyboard, and then all down shift and left mouse click to select all the spheres and right mouse click to commit. So let's get rid of the sharp edges here. Hold down Alt and left mouse click to select all the loops and just click on the yellow handle and chamfer them just a few millimeters, just like that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is create the same details for the other handle and then I'm going to mirror them on the opposite side with the techniques that we've seen so far. So I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit. All right, so as you can see, I, I've created details on the left side and mirrored them across the Y axis. So I got details on both sides. And let's select those edges and chamfer them just a bit. So let's go ahead and create this little detail. To do that, I'm going to choose the circle tool and just click and drag in the viewport to create a circle, then right click to commit and just let me move it right here. Then I'm going to move it off the handle. And now I'm going to select the blue circle first. Then I'm going to hit C on the keyboard to activate the cut tool and just click on the handle. Okay, let's select the new shape, hit G, and then Shift D to duplicate it. We're gonna need it later. Then what I'm gonna do is select this one, hit S on the keyboard, then I scale it down across the Y axis. Then hit two, to switch to edge mode and hold down alt to select the, the entire loop and just grab the handle to fill it. Let's do the same here, hold down alt and left mouse click and drag. Now we need to make another cut. So let's choose the line tool and create a shape like this and now hit Alt-1 to subdivide the curve and just grab those points just a bit and hit G on the keyboard and move that shape inside here. Now what you want to do is fill it those points, this one and this one. Okay, let's hit G on the keyboard and move it off the handle and with a blue shape selected, hit C on the keyboard and select this piece here. Now you can delete them and hold down Alt and select the edges. Just fill it them out like this. And so now we need this piece here. I'm going to roughly put it at the center here. And I'm going to hit S to scale it down across the Y axis and you can hit S twice on the keyboard to scale it uniformly, just like that. So let's have a look at it without overlay wireframe. Let's go to the icon material here and click on hide edges. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and create the blades. The next part of the video will not be narrated, guys, because I'm going to use exactly the same techniques. I'm going to first lay down the lines, then I'll join them and extrude it to give some thickness. 
with the commands that we've just seen. So just follow along the video carefully and enjoy the music. 